everybody. I hope you're doing okay and you're having an okay week. I miss you all so, so much. I wanted today to share with you a great new PJ Library book. It's called Maddie's Fridge and it is by Lois Brandt, illustrated by Vin Vogel. So let's jump in here and see what's going on. When Sophia and Maddie played at the park, they stretched their toes to the sky. They climbed to the top of the ladder and flew off the end of the slide. They stayed until the building grew long shadows and even the taxis stopped honking. Let's play on the climbing wall, Maddie said. No way, Sophia said. I can't reach. Yes way, Maddie scooted up to the top of the wall. Your turn. Sophia put a foot on the bottom rock, grabbed with one hand and stretched. But she couldn't reach the next hold. Sophia's stomach growled. I give up. Let's get a snack. No way, Maddie said. Let's stay here. Yes way, Sophia ran to Maddie's building and raced up the stairs. Wait, Maddie ran after her. Maddie was the best climber, but Sophia was the fastest runner. Sophia swung the door of Maddie's fridge. What do you got? We have milk, Maddie said. I'm saving it for Ryan. He's still little. Why doesn't your mom go to the store, Sophia asked. We don't have enough money. But what if you get hungry? We have some bread, Maddie said. I guess I'll go home to eat, Sophia said. Please don't tell anyone, Maddie said. Okay, promise? I promise. How do you think that made her feel? Sophia ran home past the bookstore and the grocery store. The sun went down behind the buildings and took all of the colors with it. Isn't that so pretty? Good timing, Mom said. Dinner is almost ready. Louis was wrestling on the floor with Pepito. Sophia opened the refrigerator door. Pepito peeked inside. Sophia's fridge was full of milk and eggs and tortillas and cheese and lettuce and jam and salsa and tofu and even a half a can of dog food. It's a lot of food, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of food in your fridge? I hope you have enough supplies that you need. And if you don't, there are lots of great places that we can tell you where to go. Here you go, Mom said. Sophia and Louis each had a place, plate of fish and rice. Mom had a plate of fish and rice. Even Pepito had his bowl of dog food with a little bit of fish and rice. Maddie and Ryan only had some bread and a small carton of milk. Sophia couldn't tell mom. She had to keep her promise. Not fish again, Lewis said. I want cheesy pizza bombs. Cheesy pizza bombs are a treat, mom said. Fish is a good source of protein. Is fish good for kids, Sophia asked. Yes, mom smiled. Fish is perfect for kids. That night, Sophia had an idea. What do you think her idea was? <gasps> she put that fish in a bag and put it in a backpack. Do you think it was good? I don't know. Yuck! Maddie said the next day. Oh, Sophia, yuck, double yuck, she said. Fish may be good for kids, but fish is not good for backpacks. 
After school, Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia got there first, but Maddie scrambled past her to the top of the wall. Sophia stretched and stretched. Keep trying, Maddie said. You'll get it. I can't. Sophia jumped down. It's just too high. Look how sad. That night, Sophia, Louis, and Mom ate frittatas. Mm. Pepito had his dog food with a little bit of frittata in it. Maddie and Ryan still had an empty refrigerator. Sophia couldn't ask for help. That would break her promise. She had to try again. Are eggs good for kids? Not as good as cheesy pizza, Louis said. Cheesy pizza bombs are a treat, Mom said. Eggs are very good for you. After dinner, Sophia packed eggs for Maddie and Ryan. Wow. Yuck, Maddie said. Double yuck, Sophia said. Eggs may be good for kids, but eggs are not good for backpacks. Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia won again, but Maddie shot past her to the top of the wall. Sophia grabbed one hold, reached for the next, and came down with a thump. That happens sometimes, Maddie called. This is impossible, Sophia said. Keep trying, Maddie said. You'll get it. That night, Sophia, Louis, and Mom had burritos. Pepito the dog had his dog food with a little bit of burrito with no salsa. Maddie and Ryan still had an empty fridge. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel kind of sad. Sophia wished she hadn't promised Maddie. Why do you think she made that promise? And why do you think she was sad that she wanted to break it and wished she hadn't even made it in the first place? Are burritos good for kids, Sophia asked. Burritos are very good for you, Mom said. Not as good as, Louis started to say. You should pay attention to nutrition like your sister, Mom said. The next morning, Sophia put two burritos in her backpack along with tortillas, beans, cheese, and even some milk. Um, no thanks, Maddie said. But you haven't even tried it. You haven't even looked, Sophia said. Is it fish? No. Is it eggs? No. Is it gross? I don't know, Sophia said. Maddie shook the backpack. Something sloshed. Let's look together, Maddie said. One, two, three, Go! <gasps> Burritos are good for kids and good for backpacks, too. Do you want some milk, Sophia asked. Thanks, Maddie said, but I'll save the milk for Ryan. Woohoo! I made it to the top! Oh, whoops! Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia won as usual and tried to climb. You can do it, Maddie said. Take my hand. Oh, that was nice. Woohoo! I made it to the top, Sophia shouted. We're the tallest kids in the park, Maddie said. Thanks for helping me, Maddie. I couldn't do it alone. Maddie shrugged. That's what friends are for. After they finished playing, Sophia walked home past the bookstore and the grocery store. Her own fridge was full of milk and juice and chicken and yogurt and bread and carrots and even a half a can of dog food. She thought and she thought and she thought. Maddie's fridge only had two tortillas and a cup of beans and a bit of cheese and a little bit more milk. Hmm, what do you think they're going to do? Do you think she's going to break her promise? Do you think if she does break her promise, do you think she's going to be mad? He's going to be mad. Sophia didn't want to break her promise, but she couldn't help Maddie alone. She told. 
She hoped Maddie wouldn't be mad. I'm glad you told me, Mom said. Let's see what we can do together. They loaded grocery bags with milk, flour, chicken, carrots, sugar, oil, and even frozen meat and vegetables. Lewis pulled his package of cheesy pizza bombs out of the freezer. He thought and he thought and he thought some more. Then he put his cheesy pizza bombs in Maddie and Ryan's bag for a treat, he said. Is that nice? That's very nice. It's what we call chesed. Yeah, mitzvah. At Maddie's apartment, the moms talked. Lewis and Ryan played. Sophia and Maddie ran to the park. You broke my promise, Maddie said. I'm sorry, Sophia said. Are you mad? A promise is important, Maddie said. You are more important, Sophia said. I wanted you to have milk, too. Maddie smiled, because that made her probably feel really good, huh? Are we still friends, Sophia asked. Always, Maddie said. Double always, Sophia said. Cheesy pizza bombs, Lewis yelled. Our moms made cheesy pizza bombs for a treat. Sophia and Maddie raised up the stairs. Sophia slowed down so they could run together. That's what friends are for. The end. This is a wonderful PJ Library book. If you don't have it for yourself, you can actually go and borrow books typically from your local PJ Library. So um, you can always contact myself or you can contact um, uh, the director of PJ Library to check out these awesome books. Um, this also brings me to a good question of how can we fill other people's refrigerators? Because if you are one of the lucky people out there that has a full fridge, there are so many people out there who don't, and we need to help them. So a few ways we can help are giving money to local uh, food banks and pantries. Another way is to donate to different types of nonprofit organizations, just like our synagogue, htaa.org, and we can give donations to different types of people of your choice as well. There are lots of different ways. You can make sandwiches and go draw and go drop them off in front of people's homes. You can do so many wonderful things to help uh, build community. Even though we have to be far apart, it doesn't mean we still can't be nice to one another. So with that, I want to sing a song for you guys because it's time for a bedtime bedtime song you guys ready for a little bedtime song Until next week, bye-bye.